Hello, I'm Carol Castiel, president of the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project. It's been an exciting and productive year on both the documentation and cemetery restoration fronts. As you can see from our colleagues in the mayor's office of Ribeira Grande or the Camara Municipal de Ribeira Grande in the island of Santo Antão, they're nearing completion of cemetery restoration projects in Peña de França and Ponte do Sol. And we're very proud to announce that the mayor's office has classified both Jewish cemeteries as municipal cultural patrimony, which we hope the city halls in Praia and Boa Vista will emulate. Such steps will not only honor the memory of the Jews who once lived there, but also prevent attempts to remove or destroy these important historical sites. We also urge the national government to move on the promised designation of national cultural patrimony. During my trip to Cape Verde in July and the beginning of August, we met with local officials about the next steps regarding repairs, signage, and maintenance. Ben Jeffs, a preservation expert with one of our major donors, the World Monuments Fund, made valuable recommendations regarding repairs needed before we can rededicate the Jewish cemetery in Boa Vista. He also provided advice on signage and maintenance for the Jewish burial plot in Praia, which was dedicated in May 2013. Only regular maintenance and upkeep of the Jewish cemeteries will ensure their long-term preservation as important historical artifacts and their viability as cultural tourist attractions. And on the documentation front, I am delighted to announce that the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project and the Archivo Nacional de Cabo Verde have signed an agreement enabling the archives to organize and classify documents pertaining to the islands of Santo Antão and Boa Vista, the islands where the majority of the Jews of Cape Verde lived and worked. Heretofore, these documents languished in boxes and researchers were barred access. Now, based on a protocolo, or memorandum of understanding that we signed in December 2015 with the National Archives, in one year, those documents will be properly organized and treated and finally available to researchers and historians like Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project historian Angela Sofia Benoliel Cuccino, who proposed, by the way, this very project. The Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project is grateful to the U.S. Embassy in Praia for its contribution to underwriting this effort. Meantime, Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project historian Angela Sofia Benuliel Cuccino has been hard at work researching the origins of the Jews of Cape Verde in the archives in Morocco and Gibraltar. I traveled with Angela in April to Morocco, where we met with His Excellency André Azoulay, Senior Advisor to His Majesty King Mohammed VI. Mr. Azoulay is also an honorary board member of the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project. Mr. Azoulay has supported the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project since its inception. He is a proud Jew from the city of Mogador, now called Esawira, the Moroccan city from which many of the Jews of Cape Verde hail. Not only did Angela make many important academic contacts on this research trip, but also, thanks to André Azoulay, we met the Minister of Migration and Moroccans Living Abroad, His Excellency Anis Birou, who invited the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project to bring a delegation of select Cape Verdeans of Jewish descent to visit the land of their ancestors. Minister Birou was so moved to learn about the descendants of Moroccan Jews in Cape Verde that he wanted to provide them with an opportunity to visit the land of their ancestors. So, in June 2015, on behalf of the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project, I led a delegation of about 10 Cape Verdeans of Jewish descent to Morocco at the invitation and expense of the Moroccan government. This was an extraordinary and meaningful visit for which we are eternally grateful to Minister Birou. Among the participants were Sofia de Oliveira Lima and her mother, Inés, proud descendants of the legendary Wahnon family. Sofia is the new Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project representative in Praia. During the whirlwind visit to Casablanca, Rabat, Tanger, Tetuan, Marrakesh, and Essaouira, we visited synagogues and cemeteries and met with leaders of the Jewish community. We also visited the Jewish Museum in Casablanca, so far the only Jewish museum in the Arab world. 
Delegation member Gardenia, a descendant of the well-known Benros family, periodically serenaded our hosts with traditional Cape Verdean maramas. Her performance at a closing dinner in Rabat, where she jammed with Moroccan musicians, resulted in a winning melodic fusion of her Moroccan and Cape Verdean identities. Once again, we'd like to thank our major benefactors and donors, His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, Mr. S. Daniel Abraham, founder of the Center for Middle East Peace here in Washington, the World Monuments Fund, and the American Embassy in Praia. And we also thank each and every one of our valued individual donors. Your donations go straight to project and program implementation. We have very little overhead. And we continue to depend on you for your financial and in-kind contributions. You may send a check or donate on the website. And to all of our descendants, we count on you for your memories, photos, and artifacts. Please continue to share your memories with Angela, our historian, so she can properly document the contributions made by your ancestors in her forthcoming book. Please check out our webpage, capeverdejewishheritageproject.org, our blog, The Jews of Cape Verde, which you can access from our homepage. And of course, follow our Facebook page, facebook.com slash cvjhp for regular updates. Please help us to honor and preserve the memory of the Jews of Cape Verde. They and their descendants are part and parcel of Cape Verde's rich multicultural identity. I'm Carol Castiel, president of the Cape Verde Jewish Heritage Project. Thank you for watching. Um.